right, well, welcome everyone for our next uh, raffle. And we are so thankful that you guys have tuned in once again. So at this hour, we were, as I mentioned earlier, we were raffling off the healthy living packs. And so the seven winners for the seventh hour of giving is Jane Webster, Greg Highland, Gary Zipper, David Buttermeyer, Willie Lieberman, Meg Whiteford, and Shireen Rusby. So thank you guys so much for your donations. Thank you for sharing this page with your friends. Thank you for helping us to make Founders Day a great success. And so I am going to let our co-founder, Jimmy Page, uh, go ahead and do our next segment with our special guest that we have today. So Jimmy. All right, here we go. All right, I'll let you have it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, it's, it's a great honor for me to be interviewing three, uh, three professional soccer players. Guys that are right here in, in the town of Baltimore, but been all over the world yeah. playing soccer. So this is obviously going to be your favorite place, your favorite stop along the journey, you know. But uh, how exciting to be able to, to, um, to be with local guys that are performing at the highest level of the sport. And obviously we'll, we'll get into those questions. So we've got William. William, you've uh, been involved with Believe Big for a little, little bit. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got connected with us? Yes, yeah, so it's first of all, it's a pleasure for us to be here to uh, participate of this incredible day, a successful day. Yeah. I'm very excited and uh, we, we're looking forward to share our ideas, share our thoughts with our, our fans and people that want to know more about soccer. Uh, we, we started this as a, you know, uh, I do a lot of charities, so I try to help keep kids, especially with yeah. cancer. So I go in the hospital, visit kids a lot and I feel like I can do more. So, you know, when I had uh, Believe Big reach out to me and say, look, we're looking for people that wanna help. I, I always said, look, I can't say no for those things. They are amazing and what they're doing is very special. So I'm, I'm happy, more than happy to help them out. That's great. And so I love when athletes use your platform because you guys have a, a pretty big reach. You know, you've got a lot of kids watching you, a lot of guys even my age watching you, but. Yeah. Our community rallies around your team, doesn't it? And uh, and you know that you have significant influence. Um, Mello, have you experienced that? I know you're part of the part of the group here. Have you experienced how your role with the Blast has has a, a lot of influence in the community? Yes, yes. You can see, you know, especially say like our fans, the base is like kids, mm -hmm. and you can see like you know like how they look to us as a as a motto, you know, like how they look to us. Uh, Someone that are, you know, like they, they look to us as that big guys, and you know, we try to be, uh, you know, uh, as good as like for them, and like uh, uh, everything that we do, we try to help with this cow, this try uh, this type of cows, or like everything that we can help the, you know, the community too. Yeah, that's great. So I know that all three of you, Elton, I know all three of you guys have played in multiple locations. Can you share a little bit about your, your own personal journeys within uh, the world of soccer? And maybe yeah. we'll go down. Elton, maybe you go down. Uh -huh. uh, I'm starting in Brazil. Uh, then we played together, me and William. Mm. So we played for seven years together, to 13 to 20. Wow. After that, we split ways. Uh, I, I played like uh, more seven years in Brazil. After mm. that, I went to Poland. I played one year in Poland. After that, I went to Romania. I okay. played one, more, uh, one year and a half there. So then I was back in Brazil. Wow. William called me to come to offer me to come to Baltimore mm -hmm. and show me all the the, the city and the, the the organization of the blast. And I was very happy with the mm -hmm. opportunity there. And when I came here, it was for me it was amazing. I really like to be on the city uh, mm -hmm. on the blast. When you say about the community, mm -hmm. we are every day with kids in the Baltimore blast right. camps. Wow. We go to five years old to. 13, 16, so mm. we are all over the place, mm. and we still, we work with uh, uh, middle school, high school, we are always mm. engaged with that, so That's great. It's, it's a really a, a pleasure to be also here 
Yeah. It's quite a journey from Brazil to other countries yeah. in Europe I and was, now I was, the States. I, I was thinking the other day, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I was trying to talk with from friend in Romania yeah. and I, I'm forgetting things, you know. It's too many languages and we also we speak Spanish too. So if you don't practice, you, you, know, right, you, you forget. So right. I, was, I was trying to keep my mind. And That's right. When I first come here, I was, telling, I was saying three words in English and two in Romanian and one in Portuguese, you know. It's hard to keep everything together. You know, we're not that smart in the state. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We just are I, I feel smart. I need a age, HD, <laughs> yeah. a bigger <laughs> one. <yeah. laughs> you do. I, I need right. an iCloud. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's right. too much for me. That's right. Mallow, similar story? Yeah. Yeah, but I left Brazil when I was a little, you know, a little younger. So I left Brazil when I was 17. I always grew up playing soccer, wow. playing like academy in Brazil when I was younger. Then I was 17. I already received an offer to go play in Europe at Italy. Yeah. And it uh, was a hard decision. I'm the only son of, you know, like my parents. And wow. I left home to go there and play. At 17 years old? At 17 years old. Okay. So uh, oh. then I played there for like eight years. Mm -hmm. And two years I played with William there too. And he come early to play uh, in Baltimore. And then like always keep in touch with the teammates. And uh, yeah. I come join That's and good. here too. So really... You're pretty the smart, right? Yeah. 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 I hope you're getting our age of the action. Right. 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 But it's, a, it's a pretty smart goalie, right? You want to put people in front of you in the field that are going to help you be successful, right? You're going to put the team together? Exactly. Uh, but I want to say something first. Mm. Besides the two great soccer players, mm. they're two fantastic human beings. Mm. And that means a lot to me. So before you pick somebody that you want to help your team to success, yes. You want to help. You want to help your environment to yeah, success right. first. That's you right. know, I know they're great, brilliant players, and you know, I've been playing with other really good players. Yeah. But it comes down to the person they are. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very happy and excited to join every single session with them yeah. because I know they're gonna give their best shot every yeah. day. But off the field, mm -hmm. you know, the the work they're doing in the community, how they treat kids and how they care about not only the team, about our fans, mm -hmm. about people off the field, you know, we give them attention to our fans every day. It, it's amazing, you know, so yeah. they are, they deserve to be here. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. they, right. they, made my, they, they made my choice easy, oh, that's, right. that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, a little bit about my story, I was born in Brazil. I played uh, with Elton when we were 13, so I left my house when I was 12 Gosh. to play soccer, lived wow. in Toronto. Is that normal? In Brazil, in Brazil, in Brazil, it is. It is. Uh, wow. We have to follow. Can you imagine letting the kid? Like I, I, you know, we have a fourteen-year-old. I can't imagine <laughs> sending her out. You know. So you have. My parents are actually here visiting me. You know, yeah. so they're outside. Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna have uh, time to to meet them later. Mm -hmm. But if you ask my mom, it was really tough decision for mm -hmm. her. She was crying, but my dad say, "Look, we gotta give him his shot. Mm -hmm. We gotta give him opportunity because if we don't, he kind he kind of mind." maybe in two years from now, blame us forever for mm -hmm. we don't allow him to right. try, you know? Yeah. So I went there, I played with Felton Academy for five years or so, we're the same age. And then, like he said, we split, uh, went to another team in Brazil and then I ended up playing Italy. Uh, me and Melo, we both have dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. Brazilian and Italian come from wow. our grandparents. So we played in Italy against first First year, I won. <laughs> uh, oh, so he, did he did not. Oh. So to nothing, William. And then, <laughs> and then in the next Talk year, smack, no. yeah. And then next year, in the following year, we ended up playing the same team. We both changed teams and went to this uh, different mm -hmm. team. We played together. We actually became roommates. Wow. And was, I spent a very phenomenal year with him. I had my parents there for. Uh, three months visit, so they take him as a son, you oh, know, wow. so it was a great experience. And then I came to Baltimore 2012, mm -hmm. and then after wow. two years, I bought them uh, Mellow, and two years later, and Melton last year. That's great. Well, you sitting here with you all, you, I can feel the love and affection that you have for each other, the chemistry, and obviously that's a big part of why you guys are, are successful. So let me ask you this. So as a goalie, you face, do you face penalty kicks? Yes. So tell tell me what it takes for you as a goalie to face a penalty kick situation. What does it take? You were uh, mentioning something earlier. Yeah. So first <laughs> of all, in indoor soccer, we don't have that as much. 
So we have a shootout, which is oh, kind of the same. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first, no fear. That's why you mm -hmm. know you, you you have no fear. You yeah. need you need to understand that you might get hurt every time you face a shot mm -hmm. because it's too close. You yeah. don't have a time to react. So uh, first wow. party has no. You know you, you need to have no fear. Yeah. Uh, and then it's a kind of mind game. You mm -hmm. know you play against a player that is gonna feel a pressure that he needs to score and the keeper doesn't need a save. Right. When he saves, it's a plus. Right. When they score, it's, it's a PK. It's expected. Okay. You know, so it's a kind of mind game. You try to throw the pressure at the player and, and take advantage of that situation. So I said 50-50 skill and, and psychology mind and game. Yeah. Yes, that you play. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, tell me, so I, I think that our experience with Believe Big and with helping families face and, and overcome cancer, I think it's very similar to a mindset that you would have as a, as a professional athlete. Can you, can you make that link? What does it take to be a pro athlete and how might those things translate into someone as they fight or fight that battle against cancer? I have a really simple word, never give up. Mm -hmm. I think this is the biggest thing, you know, believe. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great example and, you know, they can talk about last year, we had a very, you know, rough season in and out, winning, you know, simple games and losing, coming simple games. And we ended up at the, the end of the playoffs, every single time we have our back against the wall and everybody thought, okay, that's, the, that's it, you know, that's the end up. And we always believe. Mm -hmm. We always believed it was not one a single time that we gave up, wow. you know, uh, in the championship game So to make it really short and I yeah. know we don't have much time. Mm -hmm. It was the last minute we We're tying the game. They scored against us 17 seconds yeah, to seconds. the end of the game mm -hmm. We're playing Mexico 15,000 people in the yes. arena yes. They, yeah. 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 They, they the guy was celebrating. He it's was over. crying. Yeah. He thought he was like celebrate the title and that's over and I swear, I still have the feeling. Mm. I was like, it's not over yet. We still have 15 mm. seconds. We can score. Right. And we never give up. Right. And we score right away. <laughs> we we tied the game. We went to overtime. We scored a goal. We went to the third game. We ended up winning the game in Mexico. Wow. We got the championship. And everybody's like, that's a miracle. No, yeah. not for us because yeah. we, never, we never gave up. So how can I say, you know, mm -hmm. I know people that have cancer going through a lot, mm -hmm. pain, you know, bad days, mm -hmm. hospital in and out and all this, you know, mm -hmm. food allergies and, and a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but you can't give up and, you know, and we have good friends around, good family that support you or in my case, playing mm -hmm. soccer, have a good teammates that look into you and say, don't give up. We need you. Yeah. You know, it yeah. goes in both ways and yeah. pump you up. Yeah. That will make you feel good, and when you when you feel good, you don't give up anymore. Yeah, that's right. I, you know, I'm inspired to listen to you tell that story because that's where Believe Big began. It was with a simple idea that we were going to believe no matter what, how bad the circumstances looked, no matter how bad the news was that we got from you know the doctors, we were going to believe that nothing was impossible for God to overcome. And uh, it was that faith that really propelled us. Well, I can tell you, for from my perspective. It's a real blessing to have you guys here in Baltimore, mm -hmm. to have you as teammates for Believe Big and, and also to be in our communities making such an impact with, uh, with the kids that are coming up in the program. Really, really thank you. Thank you for, uh, for everything that you've shared today as well, guys. Really thank appreciate you very much. It. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you, yeah. thank yeah. you yeah. so much. All right, and we're going to just step outside. It's going to be a little <clears throat> noisier because we have people here that are painting mugs, but <clears throat> William is going to introduce you to his mom and his dad and she's going to share with us a recipe, a vegetarian recipe that she made that she's going to share with the people that are here. And William, you're going to translate. Yes. <laughs> so come on out and join us right on outside. All right, let's, let's do it. Come over here. All right. Thank you. You guys can sit here. Yes, sit here. And she's gonna, you'll probably have to get really close. So. <laughs> so, guys, yes. 
This is my dad. His name is Mauricio. He doesn't speak any English. He just speaks Portuguese, but he can say something in Portuguese and I will translate for you guys. I'm very glad to be here. And this is my mom, Miss Nelma. Okay, she also doesn't speak any English, but she's gonna be here with me for a month. I'm very glad to have my family for Christmas. You know, I haven't had the chance to spend Christmas with my family in a while, so for me it's a blast. And she's gonna help us out and share the recipe that she needed. Thank you. And we're gonna have Elton and Melo trying. So we know we're gonna see if it's all right. <laughs> it looks amazing. What's it called officially? Uh, la broccoli lasagna. Lasagna broccoli. Lasagna broccoli. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. love it. Espero que tenha colaborado e é um prazer estar aqui e poder compartilhar. I'm glad that I'm helping out, and it for me it's a pleasure to share with you guys the rest of this. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. So you can you can go ahead. May I look? Okay, well, I'm going to do all look really good right now. Well, thank you guys so much for joining in and hearing the blast players. And we are going to be doing, on the top of the next hour, William and his fellow players brought in some blast items that they actually signed. And so we're going to be raffling those off at the top of the next hour. So please share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for your support and the donations that are coming in. Thank you for believing big with us.